This is the Germont British News, presenting the truth to the free peoples of the world. The triumphant campaign in Burma has brought everlasting glory to our fighting men who battle their way against almost impossible odds through a thousand miles of the worst country in the world. Today, except for a few isolated pockets, the whole of this vast territory has been reconquered and the Japanese myth of invincibility in the jungle exploded forever. To mark the end of the campaign, British landing craft make their way up Rangoon Harbour and Burma's capital is free once more. On board a British cruiser, the governor of Burma, Sir Reginald Dorman Smith, receives Burmese leaders who exchange greetings and welcome him to their liberated country. On leave in London, the 14th Army's leader, General Sir William Slim, has a message for all of us at home. The people of the Allied nations have just completed the overthrow of the greatest military power in the world, Germany. But there remains in the Far East a menace only one degree less, Japan. The war against Japan is going well. Our American allies have won great victories in the Pacific, and we have had our own successes in the liberation of the greater part of Burma. But the Japanese is a tough enemy, and much must be done before he will admit defeat. So far, in Southeast Asia, we, the British, have had to fight with meager resources. But now, the resources that defeated Germany are becoming available for use against Japan. Nothing can stop us winning, but a great deal can be done to speed up and render less costly the final victory. Back in Burma, victory is celebrated by a great military parade in Rangoon. The expected monsoon broke just before celebrations began, but to the tough fighters of many nations, it was just another monsoon. Taking the salute is the Supreme Commander, Lord Louis Mountbatten. Past their leaders of all three services march the heroes of Kohima, Michina, Akyab, Mandalay, and now Rangoon itself. The road back in Burma has been long and terrible, and many have fallen by the way. We remember them as we salute their comrades who have reached the end of the road in triumph. <laughs>